As I enter into the room, I check for room safety. The room is safe for me to approach. I gel my hands according to WHO guidelines. Hi, good morning. Good morning. My name is Sony. I am your attending nurse today. How are you? I'm okay. Okay. Um, I'm here to uh, do peak exploratory for rate assessment. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. Okay, before proceeding further, could you tell me your full name, please? It's Peter Williams. And your first line of address? Number 2, Long Street. And your date of birth, please? Um, 28th of January 1952. Okay, do you have any allergies? Um, no, no. Nothing okay. I know of. Okay, do you know your height? Um, I think I'm about 160 centimetres. 160 centimetres. Okay, I have assessment documentation for peak exploratory for weight. According to this, uh, your full name is Peter Williams, address is 2nd Long Street, date of birth is 28 1952. You are not allergic to anything. Your height is 160 centimetres and your age is 70 years. Yeah. Is that that's, correct? That's correct. Okay. The time for doing the peak exploratory for it is today at 10 o'clock. So, Peter, I am here to do um, peak flow assessment. Um, this is the peak flow meter. This peak flow meter is to uh, measure the peak exploratory flow rate. It is the highest volume of air achieved during forceful expiration. This is to determine your respiratory problem and also the effectiveness of medication. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Um, before proceeding further, I would like to know your expected free flow using your chart. Okay. Uh, according to this chart, your age is 70 and your gender is male and your height is 160 centimeter. The expected peak flow rate is 490 liter per minute. Okay? okay. So, this is the peak flow meter. This is mouthpiece and uh, there is gauge. We should um, keep the peak flow meter horizontally and always make sure that the gauge is at zero before each attempt. We need to do this uh, measurement uh, three times in a day, in the morning, in the afternoon and before bedtime. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, during each time we need to take three attempts and we are taking the highest reading from these uh, three attempts. Okay? okay? Uh, let me explain the procedure. Um, it is important to be in upright position. You can either sit or stand but uh, don't tilt your head. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any other concerns? No. no. Okay. Um, ensure the gauge is returned to zero before each attempt. And take a deep breath to your mouth and hold it for no longer than two seconds. Will you be able to do that? I should be able to do that. Yes. yes. After that, you need to seal your lips tightly around this mouthpiece and forcefully blow into the meter. Okay. Okay. I hope you understood. Yeah. Shall we start the procedure? Are you ready for the first attempt? Yeah. Okay. First I will place you in the comfortable position. Are you comfortable in this position? Yeah, that's okay. Are you ready for the first attempt? Yeah. Okay, Peter, are you ready for the first attempt? Yeah. Okay. So you can take deep breath through your mouth and hold it for no longer than two seconds. Okay. Seal the mouthpiece around your lips. You can exhale forcefully into the meter. Okay, thank you.
Okay, your first reading is 450. Shall we do the second attempt? Yeah. Okay, do the uh, same procedure. You can take the uh, deep breath through your mouth and hold it for no longer than two seconds. Okay. Uh, seal the mouthpiece around your lip. Okay. Okay, you can exhale forcefully. Thank you. Second reading is 440. Peter, this is your third reading. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Okay. You can take deep breath through your mouth. You can hold it for no longer than two seconds. Seal your mouth around this mouthpiece. Okay, you can blow forcefully into the meter. Okay, thank you. Your third reading is for 60 seconds. Okay, thanks Peter for your cooperation. According to our three readings, your highest peak expiratory for weight is 460. Okay. okay. Thank you for that. Thank you. And according to the um, protocol if the highest reading if the difference between the uh, highest reading and the expected flow rate is more than 20 percent that means your condition is worsening at that time we will start the asthma action plan in case of emergency you can dial triple nine is that clear yeah okay do you have any other concerns no are you comfortable in this position i am okay thank you thank you Gel hands according to WHO guidelines.